it's just amazing, you know, to go through the season we did, obviously being the first year for the almost the entire defense being together and, you know, obviously having the success we had and, and making the run and, you know, they come back out here and, you know, have another a year under our belt to kind of build off of what we were able to finish up. I feel like we're, you know, we're ahead of where we were at the national championship game and we're, you know, first two days of spring. So it's an exciting time for, for the coaches. We're all really competitive and, you know, we kind of take last year's loss in the championship kind of personal. And, you know, obviously we want to get back there and have a different result. I think it's just expanding our knowledge base of, you know, kind of what we installed. You know, as the season progressed, obviously we got more and more, um, a little bit uh, more detailed in, in some of the concepts we were trying to coach up. You know, I feel like, again, starting day one, we were already ahead of, you know, where we ended up last season. So, you know, that's the exciting part. You got guys that kind of, kind of take the defense to the next level. We were able to maybe add a little nuances that we felt like during the, the playoffs that we needed to, to get better. And, you know, that's the evaluation in the off season. And, you know, we're excited about the group we have coming back. We have a, you know, really solid, you know, core group coming back. We have to have some young guys step up, especially a defensive line. But, you know, it's, it's an exciting time to have, you know, the linebackers and, and DBs are the exact same group that played in the national championship for the most part. So, you know, those guys kind of know what the defense is all about. And, and, and again, we can take it to another level. I think the biggest thing that that group gave us a D-line last year was just the leadership. I mean, they were not only the leaders of our defense, they were leaders in the locker room and of the entire team. So when you lose those guys, you lose a little edge of just, you know, who you are and your identity. Um, you know, we feel really good about the young guys. Obviously, you know, with JT Black coming back, he's kind of our bell cow up front, but we have to have those guys step forward. You know, we feel like there's some ingredients to our defense that we can do to kind of take some pressure off those guys. And, you know, when you have Wendell and, and Jay Will and you have Brian Edwards and, and those guys in the back end, it's allowed us to probably do a couple things defensively to, to help those those young defensive linemen to, to make their jobs a little bit easier. But, you know, those guys got to step up. And, you know, I think the biggest thing is for our, our guys returning, you know, at linebackers and DBs, those guys have to step forward and, and take some of that leadership role. And, you know, again, these first two practices, it's been amazing. I watched the first practice from last year, last spring, just to kind of compare it and we're night and day difference. And, and you just look at the play calls that we did, it's night and day difference. So, you know, it's exciting, you know, to kind of see what our growth is capable of being. I, I think the biggest thing is, especially from a defense perspective, you, you know, you had Coach Vagnone and I, we didn't even know the players. So, you know, it was trying to build a relationship with those guys and everything was new. So I think for those guys, you know, there was, you know, that, you know, deer in the headlights kind of look where they weren't sure exactly what they were doing. It's the exact opposite now. We know the guys, we've built relationship with these guys and, and they know what the defense is all about. Our, our day one install is, you know, is, you know, for a lot of these guys are like, let's go to the next thing and let's go to the next thing because they already know it. But we're trying to challenge them to, again, take their their knowledge of the game, their ability at their position, kind of their craft and take it to another level. And I just think it's an exciting time. This spring is, you know, again, watching the practice from last year and seeing what we were calling and, and seeing the product on the field, it, it, it's not even close. And so you think, OK, what is the potential of this team? And, you know, again, the sky's the limit, obviously, you know, being the only team in the the Sun Conference to, to win a playoff game and to go on the run that we did last year. I mean, it says a lot about this program, what Coach Soch has built, and, and obviously we're just going to continue to expand upon it.